Tonight on Bondi Rescue, chaos in the tower. An emergency airlift. I think when they've ditched, they ditch the left. And ten months after breaking his neck, Kobe is put to the test. Go, mate. Go, 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 go. He's going under. A sizzling day on Bondi. Some worship the sun, while others carve up the surf and the skate ball. The world's best skaters are in town for the annual Vans Bolarama Skate Competition. These are the ultimate conditions for a big day. You've got solid swirl. We've got a fair crowd and also got the uh, Bolarama happening, so uh, looks like we're going to be pretty busy. But one lifeguard is especially apprehensive about this day. Ten months ago, Kobe Graham broke his neck in a tragic surfing accident. Oh, no. His spinal training saved him from becoming a quadriplegic. Now, after months of rehabilitation, he's finally pulling the blue uniform back on. I didn't think he was going to be back. It sounded so bad and, you know, as soon as you hear about someone breaking your neck, you just expect the worst. But um, to make the recovery as quickly as he did, is, it's amazing. It's been great having a supporter for all the lifeguards and stuff and I guess I wouldn't be here in this position today if I didn't have that support. I've been coming down the beach quite a lot, watching them working their backsides off, you know, it's been a busy season and, and they've always just given me nothing but encouragement. So, you know, it's good to know that they all want me back. Yeah, we just thought you could get straight back. You know what? Sit down, a rookie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stoked to be back down here. It's good to be back at work and mixing up with the boys and looking after the beach again. A day before Bolarama kicks off, the skaters go through their paces. Obviously draws a lot of skateboarders from around the world. Uh, Tony Hawk skated in it a couple of years and adds to um, pressure for us. Just 14, Stephen Pinero is one of skateboarding's rising stars. Stephen's mum and dad scraped together enough money to send him all the way from Florida. With $40,000 prize money up for grabs, Stephen's going all out to get it. But pushing the envelope has its risks. Just then, someone's come to the tower to let um, Kerbox know that there's someone up at the skate park's busted their arm, which is expected. If you can look up there, there's tons of people crowded around the bowl. Box, this guy here. I'm here. Uh, boys, can you call an ambo too for us? It's obviously nice. Beardy, Louie and Kerbox attend. What, what's your name, mate? You didn't, you didn't hit your head? No, it's only, only you came down on your arm, your shoulders all right. Stephen has broken his arm badly in two places. Lifeguards immobilise the break and administer pain relief. How bad of a break do you think that is? Pretty gnarly, right? It's, it's broke both It's what? It's pain, 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 pain. It's, both ways. it's broke both ways. Stephen was doing a 540, one of the most difficult tricks in skateboarding. Losing balance, the impact on his left arm was simply too much. The easy fix, put it in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it in your mouth. In severe pain and a long way from home. It's a traumatic experience for the 14-year-old skate star. It's cool to be disappointed, it's all right. No, it's, it, means, it means you're hungry. I don't, it wouldn't have been a big deal to me if I was, like, no, I just skating through a ton of it for vacation. But, you know, I'm skating because my family 
really struggle to get me here. And I love it, isn't it? That's okay, Steve. Don't, you ain't got to sweat all that. I just break my wrist. You were going hard. That's what they'd want you to do. You're doing your best. It's cool, man. Kerbox, a former professional athlete himself, knows how desperate Stephen's situation is. You know, he was pretty upset, pretty disappointed, and uh, in a lot of pain. You know, his parents obviously spent a lot of money supporting him to get him out here for this event. And, you know, like, to go down in the first or second practice session, you know, it's pretty disheartening. Tell me how it happened. Who saw it? What happened exactly? Ask him. What were you doing? Were you doing it? It's going to get tight round your arm, OK? No, you're not going to get a What happened? Paramedics decide to administer more powerful pain relief. Dude, come on. I'll look after you, mate. He's in three days. Oh, that was exciting. I thought that one. That's it. Stephen, what we're going to get you to do now is you're going to walk out of here up to where the ambulance is. I can't walk. Your legs don't work? No, they do. Okay, Steve, come on, be no, strong, no, brother. Be strong. Your hand under there. Oh. Now you support. You'll be right, mate. That's it. There you go. That's it. I Perfect. can't walk. You should You'll be right. You'll be right. I know. I, I can walk, right? Stephen's fracture may require surgery. The young boy's dreams of competing on the world stage are on hold. In the great Australian tradition, no lifeguard can escape a nickname. Bacon, real name Adriel, bears a striking resemblance to Hollywood actor Kevin Bacon. Whip it, christened Ryan, but skinny as a kid. Mouse, small in stature. But nicknames can change. Mouse has become the black cloud. Some people have form the opinion about me that I have this terrible um, knack for causing anarchy on the beach, like massive first aids and spinals and apparently um, my aura can create this on the beach. Whenever Mouse is rostered on, there's an uncanny likelihood of a very busy day. He's become a bad omen. Probably the biggest problem today is the black clouds working and and he's just such a bad luck charm for Bondi. Like, it's just anything can happen when the black cloud is working. Sure enough, as Mouse comes on duty. About 200 metres down on the wall, there's two people standing. Next to the ramp. Next to the second ramp there, Matty. Maybe um, Blue Rhino can respond to that. OK, cool. We're on the line. Someone's taken a big spill and uh, got a serious head issue. I'll see him up against the wall, eh? A man has missed his frisbee and caught the wall instead. Get knocked out at all? No. Lose consciousness? No. Okay. Well, all I'm concerned about is um, a neck injury or anything like that. You haven't got any pains in your neck, like. Yeah, but don't move it too much. So what I'm going to do is I'll take you up our tower. Okay. So do you reckon you can stand up by yourself? Yeah, probably. And did anything hurt when you did that? Feel lightheaded? Oh yeah, I started to lose conscious. I started to lose vision. American exchange student Woody was taken to the tower for treatment. Hey Dennis, make sure you get the frisbee, bro. The curse of the black cloud strikes again. You're unbelievable. <laughs> As Frisbee victim Woody is treated, there's another incident. I just twisted all my foot over. <laughs> Ice. But the problem is, the biggest problem we got, my wife's wheelchair, she's actually disabled. Why don't you come in and sit down here, yeah. over here? After twisting his ankle, Andy hijacked his disabled wife's wheelchair to get to the tower. We've just, we've just parked her up on the wall up there, because she can't walk or anything, you know? Yeah, she's really disabled. But what I'm worried about, of course, is I need to look after my wife, you know? Go and get her and bring her down here, park her. Go this way, Ledge. Andy's son rescues Mum, while Chapo treats Woody. 
Just tell me if it's too tight. But the black cloud still hangs over Bondi. English tourist Owen has just sliced open his ankle with his surfboard. Now this isn't going to stop bleeding, so we can uh, we can soak it up so it holds. You're going to have to go and get some stitches. Oh, I, can't see I wouldn't be surprised if this bloke doesn't trip over and smash his face into the sand right there. <laughs> Black clouds on it now. <laughs> Down at the beach, it's Kobe's first day back at work after breaking his neck 10 months ago. He's yet to be tested. That lady out there, come straight back to shore, please. Now, two swimmers are in trouble. That rip is incredible. Ben sees another man in far more serious trouble further out. Yeah, go. Kobe, he's gone under. Go, 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 go. Kobe leaves the first swimmer, knowing Brad will soon back out. You need to, Mike, need to go for that guy on the black rash you're doing backstroke. Let me just have a quick look at what Kobe's got. Much further out, the second man starts disappearing below the waves. Getting to him in time is a supreme test of Kobe's fitness. Going under. the strength to climb on the rescue board. Swimmer has taken in a lot of water. His name is Kung, a 21-year-old student on holidays from Brisbane. Yeah. That one was very close. He was sort of putting his hand up and sort of sinking into the water as they do when they're just about run out of gas. Thank you. Oh, so much. Be careful, eh? Yeah. You're not a very good swimmer, you should stay close. Oh. Next time, I oh, know you don't want to hear it now, but the swimming area is on the other end, right? Oh. It's on the other end of the beach. Yeah. Oh, mate. Thank you. I was underwater for a minute, so I was going to die, but I'm very happy I'm still on the surface. Yeah, mate, he was uh, another 30 seconds and he, was, he would have disappeared. <sighs> Just makes you realise how quick things can go wrong. I haven't done a rescue like that in a while. I was scraping to get out there. I was just hoping someone was going to help him, but no one was helping him and... Still got it. <laughs> the sun may be out, but a black cloud still looms over Bondi. Lifeguards suspect it's somehow connected to Mouse. This is such a bad luck charm for Bondi. Like, it's just... Anything can happen when the black cloud is working. Already in the tower, a head gash, a fin chop, and a man with an injured ankle. This is a disaster, isn't it? Goodness me. But the black cloud looms again, this time over at Flat Rock. The notorious rock ledge has claimed its pound of flesh. Ted Woodnally shit came through and just wiped us all out. And we like the side. 
way across all the moss, but then this other massive wave came and just pushed us back into the water and just we hit all of the rocks. What do I say, girls? Don't do it. Don't do flat rock. Then a call from volunteer lifesavers. Hello, Bondo Life Guards, Michael speaking. Tony, hey, mate. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, we can just go right there. Oh. Right, so the helicopter is on. Oh, mate, I, I can see the paramedics. Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. Yeah, Chapo, come in. Yeah. Hi. Thanks, Tony. I'll give the boys a radio now and work something out. Okay, mate. Bye. Just in the booth, see the paramedics. Yeah, Bondi Central to uh, boys on the beach. I just spoke to Surfcom again. It actually got an Indian person on. Uh, I don't know if you want to chuck this ski in real quick and have someone shoot over. Let's go. Jenny or paddle? Can I have a band aid, please? Yeah, I'm going to give you a band aid. Chapo needs to run life jackets to the jet ski, but he's still dealing with the victims of Flat Rock. An emergency airlift is about to take place at South Bondi. Lifeguards back up in case extra help is required. Jet ski, the helicopter's just requested that you blokes just stand by and, uh, and just keep an eye on them just in case they go on the drink. I think when they've ditched, they ditch to the left. Like, there's little rescues going on and I've, I've not even seen them. Paramex obviously with them. Bob's going to just go in and see what's doing on the beach. Yak, a paramedic himself, heads in to assist. Hey, Box, it might be an idea to get rid of that big boat as well, because if they have to ditch in the water, they're going to go forward and left. A boatload of tourists has come to observe the rescue. Finally, the man's condition becomes clearer. The local spear fishermen swam into a cloud of blue bottles. Okay, the deal is, the blue bottle went down his throat. He couldn't breathe. He had severe chest pain. And uh, actually kind of winched him up from here. Concerned about his deteriorating condition and the inaccessible location, paramedics chose an airlift. Most toxic bluey ever. I'd like to meet this bluey. Yeah. I'm going to get out of the way now. This bluey, it's got to go, like, go to the NASA, send it to NASA. They've got to study this bad boy. That was out of control what just happened then, eh? You did it. I, I didn't mean it. You did it, mate. Yeah, all Bondi lifeguards, all hell broke loose, just blueies, anything. We gotta get the black cloud out of here. He's pushing the black cloud thing heavily. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's true. What do you reckon, Bakes? Black cloud or not, nothing's going to spoil this party. Over 5,000 people have come to see the world's best skaters compete at Vans Bowlerama.
risked of breaking his arm a day earlier. 14-year-old skate star Stephen Pinero can only watch from the sidelines. I didn't even notice until I got halfway up the ramp that I broke it because I put pressure on it. And I looked at it and I was like, holy crap, it's broken. It looked like an S. I came out here for the, um, for the contest, and the, for the beach and the event. Sasha Steinhorst, World Cup guys, wanted me to come. They told me it'd be a good event. They were so right about it. I'm just a bit bummed I can't skate today. Stevens back on the horse, but the crown that could have been his was won by Brazilian hotshot Pedro Barros. Next time on Bondi Rescue, an unwelcome visitor. Hey, buddy, there's a snake right there. Chapo resorts to tough action. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. And a drug overdose on the beach. Central 2, Tabo, come in, Tabo. Hey, he drops dead here in front of me.